And I'll end with the 9 11 joke that fell with it. So it's almost 22 years past now, and like a younger generation didn't have to live out so many lives like we did. So when they say never forget, I'm like, I'm not going to forget. I lived that trauma. 9 11 was a lot like when I saw my dad's dick for the first time. No amount of therapy is erasing that. But like the stories of heroism did pop up between like first responders and local citizens helping. The biggest one was Flight 93, right? They heard what happened, said, fuck you, you're not going to do this, took them down. So I don't think anything like that could happen. We have enough fail safes in place that that can't transpire. Plus, I don't think a hijacking like that would ever happen like that. Like if they came on and said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be flying this plane through the Capitol building. Do not try to touch the cockpit or you will be killed. I can still see the passengers rallying together, you know, looking over their shoulder like, and then one brick soul stands up and says, hey, what can we do to help? <laughs> Mass Mars Health Champion, I did fly balls back in the day, maybe we can get this stuff down. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> All right, thank you, bye-bye.